Welcome to my third day in Singapore. Today we're gonna try Singapore's traditional breakfast, kaya toast and coffee for the very first time. We are then gonna go to some of Singapore's hawker centers to try some of the best street food in the world right here in Singapore and see some of the city along the way. My name is Josie, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, let's go. Okay, so we are on the way now to try some Yakun Kaya toast. And you can, I think, get this cheaper in sort of hawker centers and things like that. But this is the big chain. This is apparently the place to go. And it looks really, really busy just from the outside. So we're gonna try it here. It also comes with a side of coffee, which is called kopi, which I think is the cutest thing ever. So let's try this. I've never tried either of these things in my whole entire life. So I'm really excited to give this a go. We're here, let's have a look. Can we get a uh, set A? Okay, so we have a peanut butter and butter toast, and we have a butter toast. And I think you just dip it in the eggs, like kind of like dippy eggs and toast, I guess. And then you also have the coffee here, which is coffee. Apparently it's really highly caffeinated. I think it comes with sugar, um, but I don't normally like sugar in my coffee. Oh, it's got a little ladle as well, but I'm gonna try it just like the way it's meant to be traditionally. But it was really cool, because when they were preparing it in the like kitchen, you saw them like, like, what, like it like, came out of the like pot, like that. Pulled there, like there. <laughs> it was really cool to see, it was like really fun. Okay, I'm gonna try the coffee first, I think, because it's almost uh, too late for me to have my first morning coffee. Well, okay, it's kind of, I'd say, similar to that Turkish coffee we had yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, it's my last video. Go back and have a look at it. But it's got that sort of like, like kind of like instant coffee kind of taste but not like and it is a little bit sweet i don't normally like any sugar in there so it's a bit sweet for me but it's got like like a creamer sort of taste if that makes sense that's really interesting super coffee flavored like the flavor wise it's really coffee flavored so it's really rich but pretty sweet so this is my butter toast i assume you just like dip you can wait she it gave out. me these is this salt maybe some sugar that's pepper <gasps> okay. What? No, fair enough. I like pepper. Yeah. And that is, I don't know what that is. Let's just dip the, <laughs> the toast in the egg. It looks so good. I, I love eggs and toast. Growing up, um, mum used to always make me dippy eggs and toast, so I'm excited. That is so good. <laughs> oh! How have I not had this ever before? What? I think the butter, like... <laughs> That's my favorite thing we've had here so far, by far. And it's eggs and toast. It's like the most simple thing. That <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's maybe the toast, but like the butter on the inside and like the egg. It's so sweet. It's kind of like there's sugar on it. Maybe there is, I don't know. But it's so super sweet. I love this. How much was this? It was $12. $12, worth, $6 each. $6 each for the copy, the dippy eggs, and the different kinds of toast. Four, sli four slices of toast, yeah. I love this so much. Can I try the peanut one? Yeah. When Michael told me about it, I was kind of just like, oh yeah, eggs and toast. Like, I love eggs for breakfast, so I was so, I was so excited anyway. It is so much better than I thought. Like, so much better than I expected. Now, I also love peanut butter, so I'm gonna try the whole Michael's one that has peanut butter and butter as well. Let's see. Dip that in the <laughs> egg. This is so good. This is so good. Okay, we finished that off really quickly. <laughs> we we're gonna go back for some more, but we still have not one, but two different hawker centers to visit today. And we're gonna get a different bit of culture in each one. So we can show you a bit about all the different types of food and cuisines that you can get here in Singapore. But before we go on, before we go to the different hawker centers, take a second to click the like button on my video and also subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out with the algorithm, helps with my videos, helps with everything like that. And let's go show you some more of Singapore and some more of the food. Let's go. walking into the hawker center now and I see something quite familiar from Thailand durian and trust me it smells exactly the same 
<laughs> can smell that from a mile away down the street. So just walking into the Hawker Center now. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what kind of food I should eat. I don't know. I probably never tried any of this before. So definitely a first impression of this food. <laughs> oh, oh, it's up there. Oh, cool. All right, let's go upstairs. So you have an idea what we're lining up for but it was the biggest line and everyone was waiting for it so we're gonna try whatever is this because it seems to be the most popular it's always a pretty safe bet if you're not sure what it is but it's a big line it's probably pretty <laughs> Okay, so we're here in the Hawker Center. There was two lines. The right side was to order your food and you picked the size and then it was the price by size. We went there with the $6.50 option, I'm pretty sure. And then you pick what noodles you want. There was yellow, white, and some really fine angel hair ones to choose from as well. And then once you order and you paid, you go to the left side of the line and you walk up and they've pretty much cooked your food and they just give it to you sort of as you go. Okay, so you've got a big bowl here. It's kind of like, it reminds me a bit of like a Luxa, like the broth of a Luxa or something like that. You've got like some kind of bread looking thing, which I think is like a fish bread or a fish cake or something. And then you've got some Hyoanese chicken, got bean sprouts in there and things like that with a whole bunch of yellow noodles, which I think are my favorite kind of noodles. So I'm pretty excited. As you can see, I'm not very good at chopsticks yet. <laughs> so let me try and, that will do. <laughs> let me try the noodles first. It reminds me a lot of a laksa. The red sort of coconut kind of broth. It's quite spicy actually. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of the potato. Oh, that's good. I love potato. Oh, that's nice. That's like a baked roast potato. <laughs> that's yummy. That's probably actually my favorite part. I love the potato. I didn't think we topped the fire toast today. But for me, this is the best thing I've had in Singapore so far. This is so good. Nah, the kaya toast is the best. The kaya toast is the best. Okay, so we just left the Hawker Center and we just got a coffee on the way, on the walk to the next Hawker Center that we're gonna try as well. We thought that we would show you this temple, but it's um, obviously a little bit under construction right now. So there's not much to look at. So walking down these really cool laneways and they're lined with like restaurants, clothes, bracelets, bars, everything that you can imagine, convenience store. <laughs> but that isn't what this video is about today. We are going to the Hawker Centers. We are gonna get the cheap eats, the good eats, the best eats, the Michelin star eats at those restaurants and those places there. So, oh, durian again. It's durian everywhere. Do you like durian or not? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> Too smelly for me, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a lot of Hyannese chicken places. There's actually one right with two stalls sort of right next to each other. Looks really, really popular, so we might just grab that. These always seem to be so full and so packed with people. Let's try the Hyannese chicken and we'll go from there. Hi, can I get the um, medium uh, Hyannese chicken rice? Yes. Yeah, so How much is it? Six? Got it? Yeah. So we're gonna try this Hyannese chicken and rice, which is a dish you can get in Thailand and that we did have a few times as well. But not only that, we have ice Milo! I'm so excited! Let's try. Okay, that's the most like the Thailand ones that we've had so far. Um, the ones that we've had in Singapore have come with just milk and like Milo slapped on top, almost like a Milo dinosaur. Um, but this one is the first one that's been like mixed like this. And apparently she put a little bit of sweet and condensed milk in it as well. All right, so I have a big piece of chicken with the sauce and the rice and everything on my fork. Let's taste it. Mmm, so soft. The rice is really nice. It's like a thicker kind of rice, like a sushi kind of rice. I really like that. I don't, 
like I like normal rice, the thin like jasmine or bas basmati, but I like the thicker sushi kind of rice, and that's what this one is. It tastes really, really cool. The sauce is really nice too. It's kind of like a like a soy type sauce, but not. I don't know how to explain it, but a bit sweeter than a soy sweet, sauce. A little bit sweet, yes, like sweet soy sauce. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if you know what it's called. The like brown sauce on the top is really good. And then that chili sauce makes it even better. Okay, so we finished with the high anise chicken and now we're just crossing the road to the Chinatown complex and trying to find one more dish or hopefully dessert from there and see what it's like in that one as well. There's two basically right across the road from each other, so pretty easy to find if you're in this area. It's really cool, let's go have a look at this one and see the difference. So we just walked into the center and downstairs it seems to be lots of like clothes and like things and like little attachable things and stickers and a whole bunch of things like that and then upstairs I think is the Hawker Center or the food so we're gonna head up there now and see what kind of food there is to get and to try. Let's go. So this one's probably one of the bigger and busiest ones that we've seen all day. There's a lot of stalls all up and down and around. It's pretty big. This is, I think, the biggest one. And a lot of them are open. Some of them are closed or packing up. But there's a lot of choice here and a lot of different things. This is, yeah, definitely the one with the most space and definitely the biggest that we've seen. Uh, happy birthday, Happy. Oh, happy. Okay. Yes, please. I'm gonna get some mochi. So we got mochi, which I think is the like Chinese version of mochi. So what she did was she got some kind of like doughy type texture thing, put it in like a tray of sesame seeds or some kind of seeds and then like cut it up. I've never seen this before. I've never had this before. I have no idea what it's going to be like or what it is. It kind of looks like pieces of banana. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Oh, what does that smell? It smells exactly like something I've had before. Peanut butter. Yes, that's what it, it smells like. Peanut butter. You're right. It tastes like it. All right, ready? really really chewy it's kind of like it's like if you had uncooked dough like it's that like that flavor you know <laughs> that feeling it's like stringy or something it's a little bit hard to chew through and the like breadcrumbs or sesame seeds or something on the outside is quite crunchy I don't actually I'm not actually a big fan of the texture to be honest with you I think it's like too chewy like too stretchy I think it's a bit too soft for me if that makes sense Oh, I don't, I don't actually think I like it that much. I just saw my favorite one. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't get that one again. Oh, it's warm. Everything about it tastes good except for the texture. I can't believe we walked around today and we came across like three or four different kinds of cultures and food all within a very small radius of each other. Singapore really is the hub of like different cultures, different food. Of course there are restaurants, cafes at a higher price point, but today we wanted to show you hawker centers and what you can get for sort of the lower end of um, a budget in Singapore. Definitely think my favorite was the Kaya Toast. I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow. I love that, that was delicious. That was the best thing I've had in Singapore so far. Tell me in the comments below if you like that or not as well. Um, but if you like this video, I know you're gonna like my last video where I had my first full day in Singapore and you get to see what they did then as well. So it's on the screen right now. Go check that one out. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye vlog. <laughs>